as you can see, it's uh, a little colder than what it was last time I was out here. You can see we got a little bit of a little bit of frost now. It's a little colder than what it used. To. But the Starlink is still doing great. I haven't had any ice or buildup on it whatsoever. It's been working perfectly uh, in this cold weather. Um, much better than, than I thought or anticipated, but it's been doing great. We've had some, nothing but some big storms here lately. Last uh, couple weeks, some really high winds and uh, lots of rain. And uh, like I said, some really cold weather, but it's, it's functioned perfectly. It has uh, exceeded my expectations. I really thought it was gonna be a lot more like the uh, satellite dish uh, for direct TV that we had that whenever it rained it would uh, go out but this uh, we've had uh, 60 uh, mile an hour winds uh, constant rain uh, for like I said the last couple weeks and it has not gone out once so but again welcome back uh, we'll go inside and we'll sit down and do the uh, data all right thanks all right well welcome back inside uh it's a little warmer in here than it is outside right now but welcome back like i said we're going to uh, uh go over my monthly uh data usage i've been kind of looking at it and tracking it um but we'll get on the the laptop here in a minute and uh, we'll see what my monthly usage is uh i have until friday uh when my billing cycle ends so it's close um i didn't want to get uh, busy this weekend uh, not be able to sit down and, and do this video so i'll go ahead and do it a few days early <clears throat> early but you should still get a really good idea on uh, how much uh, data i'm using uh at the beginning of the video you you saw my ring uh doorbell the security camera uh the tv uh the laptop uh, a couple phones uh the other phone i used to uh, do the video and of course uh, those are the items uh, that are connected to our Starlink uh, basically all the time. So that's where I'm getting uh, my data usage at, where I'm using all my data. Um, and then we'll look at the, uh, at the graph and it'll show you uh, the peak times that uh, we're using data. And of course, like most everybody else, it's uh, during the, the weekends when we're home a lot and you know, I'm streaming on TV and we're watching movies or, you know, doing whatever. What we did intentionally during this month was not really turn anything off. Uh, we kept everything connected uh, the entire month. Um, you know, all three phones were always connected to the Wi-Fi. Uh, the only thing I would disconnect uh, when I wasn't using it was the laptop, uh, just because. Uh, but basically, uh, everything else was connected, uh, like I said, all the time, just so we got a true uh, representation of how much data we, we would use. Um, I didn't want to turn things off like we used to uh, with our other provider uh, because we only had 300 gigabytes of, uh, of service. And usually within four to five days of our billing cycle, we would end up being 75% uh, used, used of our allotted, uh, uh, allotted data. Uh, so we would always turn phones off when we weren't using them. Like mine would always be off, uh, this one would be off, and uh, the wife's was pretty much always on. But that's how we kept it uh, under that 300. Since uh, Starlink gave us one terabyte, uh, we decided to uh, just leave everything hooked up, let it run all the time, and see what's basically the maximum amount of data that we would use. Now, I did just read, I think it was this afternoon at lunchtime, that um, Starlink came out and said that the caps were actually not going to go into effect until... Um, February. Uh, they didn't really explain why. It was just a, uh, 
uh, a post that they did or a, a note that they did on their uh, site saying that they have decided to delay the caps until February. Uh, you know, maybe because of the holidays, they were look, gonna let everybody have unlimited data um, until after the holidays, uh, knowing that families are gonna be together and probably doing a lot of uh, streaming and stuff like that. I mean, who knows? They, they didn't really say, but that would be my best guess. Um, I did uh, learn something else uh, that I'm sure most of you already knew about. Uh, I didn't. Um, I just found out a few days ago that in the app, uh, you can now uh, track your data. I guess that went live uh, two, three weeks ago, I guess. Um, but I wasn't paying attention. I was going on my laptop all the time to check it. Uh, but there is uh, a spot on your app. I can see on this phone, I can pull it up. Uh, like I said, I think if not uh, most, but everyone uh, will know um, where to find that data at. Um, you know, here's, here's my app. And if you go up to this top corner where the person is and click on that, it will bring up your data usage right there. So I will go on the laptop to uh, get a better view of this. Um, but uh, that's how you can do it uh, even easier than going on the laptop, okay? Uh, there are a few other things that I've seen uh, for uh, Starlink. Uh, the cap being removed until um, uh, February was the big news that I saw. And that was just this afternoon. But I also did see that NASA has um, approved uh, Starlink to uh, launch another 7,000 plus um, satellites and it's going to be their Gen 2 satellites uh, from what I didn't read in depth in the article uh, it was this morning before work so I kind of skimmed over it pretty quick uh, to get the gist uh, but it looks like um, uh, these are the Gen 2 uh, satellites that uh, Elon Musk is going to put up uh, they are supposed to be over the United States, as far as I know, uh, to help out the lower 48s uh, because so many people are using Starlink now uh, and their speeds are steadily going down uh, with more people on them. So these Gen 2 satellites are supposed to alleviate that problem and give, uh, boost everybody's speeds back up. Um, to those higher uh, speeds that they probably had in the beginning uh, before everybody hooked up to it. Uh, but they're only allowing, NASA's only allowing uh, 7,000 something, I forget what it was, what the exact number was, uh, which is about, I think, half or so of what uh, uh, Elon wanted to put up there. Uh, real quick, what uh, they stated was they wanted um, some assurance um, that the satellites won't be colliding uh, because it's getting, I guess it's getting a little crowded up there, I don't know. But he was gonna put them at two different altitudes um, from what I saw real quick. What those altitudes were, I, mean, I think it was 550, and between 550 and 450, I guess nautical miles up, I guess. Um, I'll look at it more. Um, and, Try to get some more information on that uh, later. But uh, it is good news for the people down south uh, that uh, their speeds have started to slow down a little bit uh, because everybody's been on it. Um, up here in Alaska, right here in Craig, uh, my speeds are not changed. Uh, they're just as good um, that, they, that they were when I first got it. I'm still between, on the low ends, <clears throat> I don't know, maybe 140. Um, up to, shoot, I'm up to 225 uh, sometimes when I check it. Uh, but I'm probably averaging somewhere around 178, 180 uh, on normal uh, business, uh, normal usage. So uh, for me, that's great. Uh, it's still way out beats 
uh, anything that I have with the uh, other provider. So with all that, uh, let's get into the uh, data usage and we can go over that real quick. And I'll get onto the laptop for that. Okay, so as you can see, I'm on my on the laptop uh, where my data usage is at. And it's a little bit higher than um, what we were normally using with our other provider. But again, that's because we're not shutting anything off at any time. Uh, this 358 um, is probably a little bit, high, like I said, higher. Uh, this bar here was yesterday for Sunday. Uh, we, we stayed home all, basically all day, uh, just uh, using our phones and, and all that. But you, as you can see, during the weekdays, uh, you know, we barely use anything. Um, and again, a Saturday, a Sunday and a Saturday. Uh, I had a couple of peaks in here during the weekdays. Um, so with the one terabyte um, of uh, data that they're, that they're providing uh, for us, uh, we're going to be well under that. I could probably get two, three, four more devices and, and hook up to it and still be under that uh, under that terabyte but I really was trying to show uh, especially with everything that we have hooked up you know the amount of data that we're going to use uh, what's that going to be maybe you know we may hit uh, I don't know we may hit uh, what 370 maybe uh, by the, end, by the end of this Friday, uh, like I said, our usage is pretty low during the weekdays. Uh, probably 370 is what I would guess. Um, but, you know, that's, you know, what, a third, uh, maybe a, a quarter of what they're allowing. Uh, and with us using all of those devices and our cameras and everything being hooked up 24-7, um, you know, I think it's fairly close to say that what we're using uh, for a month uh, would probably be, be uh, a family with probably a child at least that's online all the time uh, doing some gaming um, you know um, I think that's close if you don't agree <laughs> let me know if you have a child that does a lot of gaming uh, and you're using Starlink, and you're using a lot more than what I'm using, uh, let me know. I'd love to know how much uh, a husband and wife plus a, a child that's uh, online a lot uh, would use in a month, uh, how close you're getting to your one terabyte. I uh, would really be interested. You know, and i also like to know if anybody else out there is just like me and my wife, uh, you know, with a lot of gadgets and stuff hooked up to their uh, Starlink, you know, how much you guys are using um, in comparison to us. Are you way under it? Are you using more than we are? Um, and, you know, maybe what uh, your thoughts are on why uh, your data usage uh, is up there. For us, I think that's a, uh, uh, a little high. Um, but I used to monitor it and shut things off, like I said before, uh, because the uh, uh, provider that we had only gave us 300, uh, uh, I could have got more, but it cost more, of course. So, like I said, I'd, I'd really be interested uh, to hear what you guys think about that. Uh, let, me ha let me know down below. If uh, I hear some more interesting tidbits from Starlink uh, or about Starlink, um, I will definitely do another video to keep you guys apprised. Um, I might do a quick one uh, when we get some snow snow, uh, which is supposed to be pretty soon here, and uh, take a quick video of the uh, dish. Um, it's, you know, with the frost that we've been getting, I haven't seen any frost on it. I haven't seen any icicles on it. Um, so when the snow snow hits, uh, I'll be interested to see uh, how that works. I have seen some other people's uh, satellites uh, that have had some uh, ice shingles hanging off of them. Uh, so we'll see how that works. 
Uh, I have mine set up on the automatic heat, uh, as I'm sure most of you do. Uh, but again, let me know uh, if uh, you guys agree, disagree that uh, you know the amount of usage uh, that we're using uh, is just me and my wife is more or less uh, what you guys are using. Again, thanks for joining, and we'll see you guys soon. Bye now.